10 newest cities in Africa. Hello, this Flores. Welcome to another interesting video brought to you by this floor. New cities are beginning to appear across the continent with promising, glossy, and aspirational spaces to live, work, and play. By 2050, an estimated 2.5 billion more people will be added to urban areas, with 90% of this growth taking place in Africa and Asia. According to Nobel Prize winning economist Paul Romer, this will mean the building of more urban areas in the next 100 years that currently exist today. More than 40,000 people in Africa are expected to move into cities every day for the next 20 years. Unfortunately, however, African megacities such as Kinshasa, Cairo, and Lagos are well known for poor planning and functioning and are already unable to accommodate their existing citizens in an orderly fashion, creating the urgent need for new cities to see the light. Therefore, in this video, we will discover the top 10 newest cities in Africa, created not just to fill this need of accommodation, but equally to boost the economy of the countries concerned with proper functionality and planning. If you are new here, welcome! Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new uploads. It is worth noting that some of the cities on this list are still under construction and some others are already operational, but either ways, they are all development projects and most recent cities in Africa. Number 10. Eco-Atlantic Nigeria Eco-Atlantic is a mixed residential and commercial plant community built on land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean. Eco-Atlantic is a marvel of modern engineering and technology and a testament to the rise of Nigeria on the world stage. This new city has evolved rapidly from a visionary design concept into a technological reality. Challenging the ambitions of the cities of Dubai or Abu Dhabi, Eco-Atlantic will include commercial and residential space with a capacity of 400,000 units, as well as many hotels, including the four-star 500-key property. Eco-Atlantic is located on Victoria Island, adjacent to Lagos, Nigeria, and a focal point for investors capitalizing on rich development growth based on massive demand and a gateway to emerging markets of the continent. Number 9. Konza Techno City, Kenya In 2009, the Konza Technopolis project was initiated with the procurement of a 5,000-acre parcel of land at Malili Ranch, 60 kilometers southeast of Nairobi along Mombasa Nairobi A109 Road. And with this, the realization of Africa's Silicon Savannah officially launched. Konza Technology City, also known as Silicon Savannah, is the embodiment of Kenyan ambitions and represents a new construction model for tomorrow's African cities. When fully developed, Konza will help Kenya become a world-class center for the technology industry, achieve middle-income country status, and improve the quality of life for Kenyans. Number 8. DRC's Kiswishi City the Kiswishi development, named after the river that flows through it, comprises more than 10,800 acres of land in close proximity to Lubumbashi. It is just 16 kilometers from the city center and 10 kilometers from Luano International Airport. Kiswishi will be a comprehensively planned community focused on a work-leave-play concept, providing a broad mix of land uses to cater for all the needs of its residents and visitors. The project will have world-class facilities, services, and management, which will ensure long-term sustainability. Kiswishi will bring many new opportunities for the people of Katanga province, both for individuals and local businesses, as the project grows in both size and stature. The master plan ensures that shops, entertainment, schools, and public services are all easily accessible to residents. Number 7. Nkwashi City, Zambia Nkwashi is a satellite town designed to function as a fully self-contained and modern city. It will have its own central business district, 
several residential districts and education district, several green spaces, fully paved roads, and electricity, water and sewage networks along with access to high-speed internet connectivity. In many ways, it will be Zambia's best planned and most modern city. Nkwashi's residential areas will be divided into 12 distinct district areas. These districts will each be unique to the other, with subtle differences in landscaping features. Each district will consist of a maximum of three suburbs, with approximately 300 properties each. Residents of Nkwashi will hold title to their own properties. These titles will be registered with the Lands and Deeds Registry at the Ministry of Lands. As Nkwashi has been designed as a fully functioning town, purchasers will not pay cash for their selected properties. Rather, they will simply be required to make a rate payment for communal services. They will use rate payments to continue to develop and improve the estate, ensuring that residents enjoy living in the town. Number 6. Mauritius's Mont Trésor Strategically located near the airport, Mont Trésor Smart City will be developed over 480 hectares and will comprise of a business gateway, residential precincts, and leisure facilities. The project will comprise of five sound studios, a props workshop, office spaces, a trailer park, and a parking zone, thus driving Mauritius under the international spotlight. Comprising three components, Montrezor Business Gateway will promote ease of business in the region due to its proximity to the airport, as well as its privileged access to airport facilities, the motorway, and neighboring amenities. The office park, which already houses private offices and co-working spaces, is dedicated to modern businesses willing to boost the Mauritian economy, along with the Freeport Park, which will extend over 24 hectares. A free trade zone that will offer an attractive tax regime and preferred access to international markets. The commercial park will boost this remarkable region with its shopping mall of 10,000 square meters and its vast array of shops. The site already houses a business hotel, the Holiday Inn, Mauritius Montresor, and its conference center available for use to both businesses and individuals. Number 5. Kenya's $18 billion Tattoo City Tattoo City is a 5,000-acre new city with homes, schools, offices, a shopping district, medical clinics, nature areas, a sport and entertainment complex, and manufacturing area for more than 250,000 residents and tens of thousands of day visitors. Schools and businesses are already open at Tattoo City and a wide range of houses that suit all incomes. Tattoo City represents a new way of living and thinking for all Kenyans, creating a unique live, work and play environment that is free from traffic congestion and long distance commuting. Tattoo City's special economic zone status provides reduced corporate taxes, customs, and exercise duty exemptions that benefit profit and capital repatriation at reduced rates, as well as enhanced intellectual property rights, amongst other benefits. Number 4. Roma Park in Zambia Roma Park is owned by Rendezvous and the CPD Investment Groups. Rendezvous is Africa's largest urban land developer with city-scale development in the growth parts of major cities in Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Roma Park is the first mixed-use development of its kind in Zambia, conveniently located 6 kilometers from the central business district and 20 kilometers from the international airport. Roma Park started off as a piece of a 120-hectare agricultural parcel of land, approximately 2.5 kilometers off the Great East Road. In 2009, CPD Properties took ownership of what was then Farm 609 on the Zambezi Road. 
CPD properties had embarked on an infrastructure rollout which includes the provision of water and sewage reticulation, electrification of the entire development, construction of over 10 kilometers of roads, and the facilitation of fiber optic connectivity throughout the development. Since then, Roma Park has been transformed into one of Zambia's first mixed-use developments, and in partnership with the Zambian Development Agency, one of Zambia's first industrial parks. As Roma Park grows, the vision of the development becomes a reality. Number 3. Senegal's Diamniadio Lake City In an attempt to revitalize Senegal's economy, the Senegalese government contracted Semer Group to design and construct Diamniadio Lake City. The new city is expected to resolve the congestion in Dakar, which is less than 20 miles away, and house approximately 350,000 people. DLC will have commercial, financial, and residential land uses with a price tag of 2 billion US dollars. With phase 1 already underway, construction is set to be completed in 2035. Will the urban decentralization effort in Senegal be a success or a bust? Well, only time can tell. Number 2. Nigeria's Enyinba Economic City Enyinba Economic City, or EEC, is a 9,464 hectares of work, live, learn, and play city designed to have economics of agglomeration, environmentally conscious, efficient, and sustainable center of south south stroke southeast of Nigeria. It is an investment destination created to leverage on the opportunities Nigeria offers to bring about job creation and regional development through industrialization. It is a special economic zone under the Made in Nigeria for Export program of the Federal Government of Nigeria, and it will have a free trade zone status. Number 1. Rwanda's Kigali Innovation City 25 years ago, the small landlocked nation of Rwanda was in the middle of a violent civil war. Now, it is building a $420 million innovation park in the capital, Kigali, which will transform the country into East Africa's tech and business hub. Kigali Innovation City, or KIK, is being developed to be a mixed-use master plant innovation city to be situated on 60 hectares of land in Kigali, Rwanda. KIC will seek to facilitate the development of Pan-African talent and act as a technology innovation hub. Its plan includes four universities, office spaces, startup business incubators, alongside supporting facilities for retail, hospitality, and accommodation. In 2016, Construction of the iconic $300 million, 32,200 square meter Kigali Convention Center was completed with a 292-room 5-star Radisson Blue Hotel and a conference center that can host up to 5,000 delegates. For staying up until this time in this video, here is a special bonus for you guys. Akon City Akon is moving forward with plans to build a $6 billion sustainable smart city in Senegal, called Akon City. The Senegalese-American singer said the 2,000-acre futuristic metropolis would include a luxury resort, condos, offices, a hospital, a stadium, and an artificial intelligence data center. Residents will pay for everything with this cryptocurrency, Acoin. The project's main financial backer is a Kenyan entrepreneur with a mysterious past and a history of being sued over allegations that he failed to repay debts. Akon said the city would empower Africa's youth, but few details have been released on community involvement in Akon City, which has tapped a Los Angeles construction firm and an architect from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. There you have it, the Splorers, the top 10 newest cities in Africa. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and let us know what you think about these new cities being realized all over Africa.
Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new uploads.